Hi everyone, um, this is just going to be a short screencast to show you how to start up to start using the DDT debugger on Archer using the remote client. Um, we recommend that you use the remote client just because it gives you a better user interface to the uh, debugger, but there are a number of different ways to use it. One is with the client running on Archer itself, um, whereas the response wouldn't be as good, and you can also run um, DDT in offline debugging mode. Um, they will be looking at both of these will be um, subjects of future screencasts. So what I have here to start with is just a terminal. So I'm going to log into Archer just to show you how you know where all the various paths are. So you can have a look at what versions of a linear are available with the module command. So module Um, and you can see the default version is this one here, and that's the one we're going to use um, because it fixes some bugs in previous versions and um, the only newer version is a beta test version which hasn't been fully tested on the system yet. So you can find out what the path is which is important for setting up um, the client with a um, module show command. So we module show a linear is all you need because we're using the default version. And you can see here that this shows you the path of where a linear is installed on the system. And this will be useful in moments when we start the remote client and you want to actually debug your application. So let's start um, the remote client. Okay, so the first thing you'll get is a screen like this. And you can see down here that it says that there's no uh, license on your local system. That's fine. What we're going to do is configure the remote launch. So if we have a look at the configure screen. I've already got some set up here, but we'll have a look at configure to look what the settings are. Um, if I pull down the one for Archer, which looks like this, it consists of the host name, which is your username at um, the host, which is login dot Archer EC UK for Archer. Um, the remote installation directory is the same as what we got here from the command line. And the remote script, which you should provide because it makes sure that paths are all set up, is just this with remote dash in it on the end. Once you have all these things set up, you can do test remote launch and you'll get this testing. And if you have password, if you have um, an SSH agent like I do on my system here, you won't be asked for a password because you can just log into Archer without requiring a password. If you don't have an SSH agent, it will prompt you for your password. But you can see here that it um, logged in successfully, so that's fine. So we hit OK, and it'll take a minute, and hopefully it will come back um, once it's set up. There we go moments again and you can see here that the available tools now has changed to show the two um, linear licenses that we have on the system one for the map which is the profiling tool and one for DDT which is the debugger. Now the standard way that you would um, use this is just to use the run button to run and debugger program so let's hit that and see what happens. So I've got some things filled in because I already used it on the system but in here you enter the path to your application so this is your um, application. This is a very simple dummy application I'm using here. It's just Hello World and MPI. Um, if you click the button next to it, you can see you get a list of um, files and folders actually on Archer. And you look here and see what the path is. And um, you can enter your own path, all those sort of things. So we're going to use the debug version, the executable. If you, your program took any command line arguments, you would add them here. This one doesn't, so that's fine. You tell it where the job is going to run. So this has to be somewhere in slash work on Arch because only the work file system is mounted on the system. It's worth noting as well that your executable should be on work and prob and also your source files. Um, so you should compile and run from work to be able to do debugging properly. And you should um, also compile the minus G option to have debugging symbols in. This is where you set up um, MPI and how many processes. So I'm using 24 processes, just a single node. Um, the implementation hopefully will be picked automatically for you, but if it's not, you want to choose the Cray X series um, MPI implementation. Any extra arguments you want to supply to AP Run can go in here. 
and there's various other options here but the only other one that's really interesting to us is the submit to queue so if you do this and click um, sorry if you click configure you'll get up this window and one thing you'll need is this probably won't be set up for you by default is to choose the submission template file um, and you can do this from on Archer and the path is actually just the first bit of this path here up to a linear if we take that and we can browse to it here you can see the various directories the one you actually want is templates. In there, there's um, a number of different files. Um, at the moment, there's some for various testing, but these will be tidied up. But if you choose the Archer Phase 1 version, that's the right template for Archer at the moment. You'll need to fill in the submit command, which is qsub, the cancel command, which is qdel, and the display command, which is qstat. And all these other things, you should be able to leave the same, specifying um, the number of tasks and things like that. So once you've done that, you can click OK. And you go back to this screen here. And the final thing you need to do is set the parameters for the job. So the parameters you want to have for the job are what Walcock time to put in, um, what queue you can submit to, you want to submit to. So you can either submit to standard along, which is just for normal jobs, but I'm submitting to the short queue here, which runs between uh, currently 9 and 5 every day and should give you quicker turnaround for debugging. The maximum time you can use in the short queue is um, 20 minutes, I'm only selecting 10 here, and the maximum um, job size is 8 notes. You should also enter your budget code as you would in a normal job submission script here. Okay. Once you have all that set up, executable, working directory, number of MPI processes, um, queue template and the parameters, then you can submit your job um, and wait for the debugging session to start. So if I hit submit, it should go away and start the DDT window. And you should get this little dialog that shows a list of jobs currently in the queue. As yours has just been submitted, if you skip to the bottom, you'll see it down here it'll have some um, job name like this, Alan, and then a random string to identify it. And it will wait your job to start in the queue um, to do the debugging session. So you can see this, you just saw that flicker, that means that um, this, the uh, view of the queue refreshed itself. So sometimes you just have to wait a few minutes um, for this to start. You can still it's, see it's still queued. You can get an idea of how any other people are running in the um, short queue, which is this S reservation here, just by scrolling up the list and seeing what it looks like. It doesn't look like that very much, so hopefully it will start relatively soon. Okay, so that's your job now starting, and you can see that the um, debugger is collecting to the running process, and then you get the window open. Um, and it stops here on this line at MP at the start of um, just after MPI in it by default, and then you can now start to use the debugger as you normally would to run your code, um, and actually using the debugger be subject of another um, screencast. If you just that's how you start up um, a DDT debugging session. I'll now stop the session and. Um, close down so you go to file end session and that should shut it all down nicely and stop thank you for um, listening to the screencast if you have any questions about using DDT please do send them into the Archer help desk um, in the normal manner